There's no way getting around it. Miracles are impossible. Whoa, the background changed and so did his shirt. It's a miracle. Okay, yeah, I know that was lame, but uh, I pre-recorded the same episode and decided that there were some more thoughts that I wanted to add to it, so I'm just here re-recording it. Okay, don't let the title fool you, because I'm probably not going to say anything that nobody really disagrees with. Yes, miracles are impossible. And as long as you're defining impossible and miracles the right way, then nobody disagrees with this statement. Miracles kind of have to be impossible. That's, that's kind of the definition of it. And that's the point. I find it interesting that, that critics continuously repeat the concept that science has disproved miracles, that miracles have been deemed impossible. It doesn't take a 21st century scientist to tell you that miracles are impossible. I mean, put yourself in the position of somebody who's actually seeing a miracle happen, assuming that it actually did happen. You don't watch a miracle and think, oh yeah, that happens all the time. No, you think, wow, that can't possibly happen, that's not possible. Who am I dealing with here? Arguments like these come up a lot, where uh, critics say things about religion, but if the opposite were true, then it wouldn't do anything to extend the position either. What I mean by that is, let's say that science didn't prove miracles impossible. Let's say that we decided that miracles were possible. We have to change the definitions to do that, but whatever. If miracles were found to be possible, then critics would still be critics, and they would still stand on the outside of religion to think there's a rational explanation for that. Well, rational according to their own worldview. Another thing that I should explain. Uh, religious and non-religious people play by different rules of logic. Later I'm going to do a video about how logic doesn't mean truth and how logic means different things based on what worldview that you're coming from and it's really it's just consistency. I'll get to that later. But the point is that miracles being impossible means different things for the different worldviews. So if you're coming from the critic side then you think miracles are impossible so they didn't happen. If you're coming from the religious side you're thinking Miracles have to be impossible, and that's what makes it so amazing. I'm gonna keep pushing this concept because nobody seems to be doing it and it's super important. Here's the video that I did on postulate. Go watch it if you haven't already. If you postulate the Christian worldview, you'll find that Christians also don't believe that miracles are possible, but they believe that they happen because if you're postulating the existence of an all-powerful God, that is all sovereign over the laws of physics and nature, then you can recognize that he has the ability to manipulate those things. And that's still logical according to the Christian worldview. Alright, if you're a critic watching this video, then I want you to know that I'm not trying to be hostile or call you dumb or anything, but this argument that science proves miracles to be impossible, you're not telling us anything that we don't already know. You're not convincing us of anything that we're not already agreeing with you on. Miracles, by their very nature, have to be impossible in order to support what we believe. Again, this isn't me trying to be insulting. Like, I want debate to happen, I want you folks to argue with me, and I think it's important that you disagree with me on a lot of things. But if we're going to have productive conversation, the way to go about it is not making this argument. That's all I have for you folks today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Josh Noriega. This is Christian Sophistry, and thanks for debating with me. Yeah, I think I did settle on that outro. It's, it's a good one, I think. We'll see if it develops later on. If you think you have a better one, comment down below, and maybe I'll steal it. I'll see you folks on the next video.